At the Gateway Transit Center, people getting on buses Thursday night noticed a few changes. The biggest one? TriMet is temporarily limiting the number of passengers per bus to slow the spread of COVID-19. No more than 10 people, or 15 if they include couples or riders with kids, will be allowed on board. And I think it's fair. It keeps people away from each other, and I don't think you'd get much uh, dispute about it. Julius Wagner rides the bus every day. He says people have already started keeping their distance from each other. Because there's not necessarily a mass number of people on the buses. TriMet says weekly ridership is down over 63 percent from February since the governor's stay-at-home order took effect. As ridership dwindles, there may still be busy days. To protect the 15-passenger limit, drivers can ask people at bus stops to wait for another bus if theirs is at capacity. Inside buses, riders will find more changes. Some seats will have signs that say, don't sit here, to promote social distancing. Riders on Max and West trains will also see signs encouraging passengers to keep their distance. The changes come amidst frustration from TriMet drivers. Union reps complain the agency has been slow to respond to safety concerns around the coronavirus. KGW obtained audio recordings that illustrate some of those concerns. In this one, a driver worries about big crowds and possible contamination. At one moment, I had every seat on my bus had somebody in it. Uh, yeah, I mean, the six feet is a, is a suggestion. It's the ideal to prevent the virus from being transmitted. Riders like Julius. I make sure I keep my distance. Hope these new changes will make things safer for everyone. With these changes, there may be delays, so be sure to give yourself some extra travel time. And remember, TriMet no longer accepts cash payments on buses. Katherine Cook, KGW News.